everybody, I'm Graham Bell, and I know what you're thinking. What is the secret to my hair? Well, it's Baridas. Baridas is revitalizing and has a mixture of horse chestnut in it. Open it. Oh, it smells like a warm summer's day. It keeps your hair in top. Don't worry about that guys, that is indeed my hair and it's going to get cut very soon. In the meantime, Pro's Day is a matter of a week away. The prize fund is bigger than my hair and we have some unbelievable news. Over to you, Andy Murray. A big thank you to Andy. You're looking forward to Pro's Day Andy? Can't wait sir. Can't, Can't wait. wait. The weather's on our side, we'll have a fantastic day. Do you want to announce the big thing? The big prize. The big prize, Andy. Well, we've been working on it for a few weeks, Graham and I. A lot of tough negotiations. And we're going to put a brand new car up for a hole-in-one at the eighth hole. This hole has been chosen because <laughs> it's accessible to all members with all handicaps. Okay, and I hope we'll all bring our A-game and I'll be delighted to present it to somebody around about 7 o'clock when the competition finishes. That gets the big thumbs up from the bell. Well done, Andy. Thank you for your help. Thank you, Andy. What an amazing gesture from Arnold Clark. So they're giving us this amazing support. Give them some support. Give it a try. Great chat down at Arnold Clark. Anyway... On to the day itself, we're going to have some outdoor furniture, some gazebos. It's the first day of the football season, so uh, we may have some fun and games ahead. But the day is going to be great. The weather's looking okay. Uh, but again, we must look after our course. This week, we have seen more pitch marks and rubbish lying about. It really is an absolute disgrace. Unfortunately, some of you who are watching are part of this problem. Um, I mean, there's just, uh, here's Karen with a little video of what we found found from the pro shop. Sad to see, but here it is. Hi everyone, it's Officer Karen again from East Kilbride Golf Club in the Pro Shop and unfortunately reporting some bad stuff again today. So just outside the Pro Shop, I'm just at the practice area and we obviously have no bins at the course and you've been asked to take your litter home but people have decided just to leave some stuff here which is just not on to be honest because who's going to pick this up? Who are you expecting? So if you've Put your stuff down here. Who do you actually expect to pick that up and put it away? Um, and remember, there's issues with handling different surfaces just now. So it's just not ideal. And of course, even worse, in the actual shoe cleaner, we've got cigarettes and we've got empty golf ball boxes. So if you did this, please don't do it again. Um, because it's just not on and as people keep saying we're all members of the golf club there's really very little visitors if any at the moment so this is members that are doing this so can we please stop it and if you see your other fellow members doing this don't be shy in pulling them up um, you have to take your litter home please awful isn't it awful and it's members not visitors so you know what if this is you do something about it or if you don't want to then I'm sure there'll be another golf course uh, wanting not to let you in so we need to change this we need to try and educate people that you don't just leave your rubbish lying it's not it's for somebody else to clean up uh, and pitch marks we looked at the front of the 18th green and we had 50 unrepaired pitch marks at the front of the green. Not blaming any particular group of people, but they are not repairing pitch marks. You're walking, well, you shouldn't walk past a pitch mark. So it could be people that are ignorant, not knowing they've hit a green, a green which I don't believe. I just believe that it is ignorant and not doing 
what you should do. It's your course, you pay a lot of money to be a member. Look after it. And here's a little video of myself and Alistair Rennie showing you how to repair a pitch mark. Guys, you'll be the first to complain if the surfaces are bumpy, but you need to repair plug marks. Simple as that. And here's how you do it properly. So we're going to show you how to do it. I'm going to stand in my ball. Okay. And now Alistair Rennie is going to repair it properly and I'm going to zoom in. In. Push. 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 So you're pulling the sides together. And then you can tap it down with your foot or your putter. And you're not damaging the boots. So don't lift it up. Push it in. Great. Now if anybody wants me to show them that in person, I will do it. But if I catch you not repairing your pitch marks, there'll be a letter on the way to you. Thank you and bye-bye. So, a slightly sombre uh, newsletter this week. We wanted it to be all about the pros day, all about the fun, all about the car. But all it's about is actually having a bit of pride in yourself and a pride in your golf club and actually look after it. For the people that are late leaving rubbish about, no time for you. Absolutely no time for you at all. Uh, you're not bigger than the planet. You're not bigger than the golf course. You are a big problem. So either sort it out or, as I said, don't be part of a golf club if you can't keep it tidy and you can't look after it. Uh, it's not a big ask. We've all been raised and, and shown what a bit is at home. We've got COVID, the bowling bins aren't open in the golf course, put it in your bag and take it home. You know, it's like carrying a, a, a buffalo home, you're carrying a, maybe a can or something like that. You know, make us, make the golf course better. Um, we're working hard to try and give you the experience you want. But, you know, what I've seen this week is, pff, it's absolutely pitiful. So, on a, Slightly down note, take care of the golf course. If you don't, 